My husband, 30 meters, and I, 27F, have been together for 3 years and married for 5 months. Our relationship has been without any problems until the week before our wedding. My husband was very close friends with a woman, let's call her Ava, that he has known since they were sophomores in high school. I never had a problem with Ava, I thought it was very obvious that she and my husband are just friends, I mean she had a long term boyfriend and all. So, I felt no jealousy or anything. I actually got along with Ava pretty well. We all hung out together regularly. But then my husband dropped a bombshell on me the week before we got married. I remember he sat me down and told me that Ava revealed to him that she has feelings for him and tried to convince him to not get married to me. She even broke up with her boyfriend of 6 years to prove that she was serious about my husband. My husband and I both agreed to cut her off. We uninvited her to our wedding and neither one of us have been in contact with her since. It was my husband's 30th birthday yesterday, he just wanted to have a dinner with family and friends so that's what we did. So, we are all in a restaurant eating when all of a sudden Ava walks in. She walks to our table and says she didn't mean to intrude, that she was just getting dinner by herself and then saw us. She then wishes my husband a happy birthday. I expect her to leave, but then my husband asks if she wants to join us. I look at my husband like what the fuck are you doing? I'm visibly uncomfortable and irritated. I stand up and tell Eva that she can have my seat and then I walk out and get an Uber home because I want absolutely nothing to do with her. When my husband comes home almost 2 hours later, he immediately starts an argument with me. He tells me I overreacted and acted immaturely. I ask him why did he ask Ava to eat with us because I thought we were on the same page. He replies that was just being nice and he didn't think it would be a big deal because it's been a long time since he has seen her so she probably doesn't have feelings for him anymore. And then he tells me that I ruined his birthday. I'm still upset about it all. I don't think I'm the one in the wrong. I mean, this woman literally tried to steal my partner. Ata? NTA. She literally tried to talk him out of marrying you and to be with her instead. After that level of disrespect, he expects you to just move on. Also, the story smells a little fishy. She coincidentally came to the same restaurant on his birthday to eat alone. You walk out and instead of going to talk to you, he lets you leave and stays there for two more hours, presumably with her being there? I dunno, just sounds very coincidental. She would have declined the invite if she didn't have feelings anymore for your husband. Instead she stayed. She would have realized how inappropriate her solicitation of your husband was. And she would have apologized separately. She hasn't. Your husband is being very naive. NTA. It's been 5 months, not 5 years. Your husband is delusional. If he thinks she's genuinely gotten over him and his behavior was appropriate. Also she just happened to be having dinner by herself at the restaurant where he was celebrating his birthday. NTA. What a coincidence that Ava just happens to go to the same restaurant. I don't get your husband's logic here. He disinvited her to his wedding but offers her to sit down and have dinner when she wasn't invited. There's something off here. NTA. And it's only been 5 months since the wedding. Ava would still have pretty strong feelings for Op's husband. NTA. Your husband knows what he did. He replies that was just being nice. To someone who tries to ruin your marriage. And he didn't think it would be a big deal. Because it's been a long time since he has seen her. 5 months is a long time. So she probably doesn't have feelings for him anymore. Not good enough. And then he tells me that I ruined his birthday. Cheaper than a divorce. You called him out and he probably had to explain it to his other friends. You forgot he stayed. For 2 hours. The fact he didn't follow up out the door says everything. NTA but I can't believe it took him 2 hours to follow you after the woman that told him she loved him back quote happened to show up. I really hate to say it but this screams emotional slash physical affair or at least they've secretly been talking. Sounds very suspicious and that was definitely not a coincidence. Someone told her that they would be having dinner there and the only person that would have reason for that is her husband. 
NTA but Abba must have been invited by either your husband or the friends at the party. NTA. They've been in touch the whole time. That's how she knew where you all were. He so casually opened the door to her to offer a place back in his life. That's concerning. To be fair, she could have easily found out through social media or from a member of Op's husband's family. Husband should never have invited her to sit down though or anything else he did after that. NTA. WTF. He comes home two hours later. So, they celebrated his birthday together. Nap. Nah, he would be gone. There's more to this. He is not being honest with you at all. I suspect they were both cheating and agreed to keep it secret. NTA. Let's be real here she didn't happen to accidentally stumble upon the exact restaurant at the exact time as you guys on your husband's birthday. This was pre-planned. Your husband is mad it didn't go how he wanted. He either is having an affair or is trying to rekindle his friendship with her. Both outcomes he is bad for either a cheating or b not communicating that he wants his friend back with you and going behind your back to try and get you in the same room together to feel out the tension between you. He cross boundaries. Might need to have another conversation with him about them. That you will never ever want to associate with her. She isn't to attend events and you don't want him involved in any way shape or form with her. Yeah in 2022 how often do people around our page sit in alone at a nice enough restaurant for a birthday dinner and not just order out or get delivery? And then it being the exact same location she dines out alone and the exact same time. Then they need to be seated near each other in order for her to see them. It's likely a deep seated feeling for her that will take years to get over, not just a few months. It was completely inappropriate to invite her to eat with y'all. He's just leading her on, or they secretly had a relationship and this was a planned run-in to try to get you to bring her back into your lives to make sneaking easier. Yeah, no way that was a coincidence. NTA, two hours later so everyone stayed and had a nice dinner. I'd reconsider this marriage. No no, the dinner was ruined. They just sat and looked at each other for two hours. NTA, I'm so sus. How in the world does she know where to find y'all? I doubt it's a coincidence. The gross part is your husband spent the next couple of hours having a lovely dinner with Ava. Yuck. Eater. Ha. I read in a hurry last night before going to sleep. Didn't catch the part where there's his family there too. I'm sure it was a lovely reunion dinner. Obviously, his birthday ain't ruined since he's got his gal back or something like that. Oh. Best case scenario, mutual friends or she saw they were there because of social media. Worst case scenario, husband told her. Either way husband needs to set better boundaries or set up free. NTA. I've heard this story, versions of it, before and you should draw the line before he starts working his way toward trying to open up the relationship. Also, you should have stayed and called her out in front of everyone. The invite to sit down was out of politeness. You should have declined hour of respect for our relationship. Since you know. You tried to be a home wrecker and steal my husband one week before our wedding. Next time. And there will be a next time. Put it in the open for everyone. Ask her how she has the nerve to show her face after trying to steal your partner. That you don't trust her around him after the last incident and the other ladies should be concerned about her hanging around any of this. You make that s asterisk 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 public. Her humiliation should keep her away and stop people from assuming you're jealous for no reason like what is probably being said behind closed doors. A. That seems like a lot of work for op when husband is clearly fine with it. She should let them have each other and find someone who actually respects her. NTA. NTA. He is either leading her on or actually wants to have someone to flirt with or he is cheating with her and wants her to become friends again to make it easier. There is literally no good reason to invite her to your table, then actually let you walk out and don't even try to stop you and then try gaslighting you about the whole thing. NTA. This seems like a planned event by your husband. NTA however I would start investigating. I do not believe in coincidences. I mean do you only have one restaurant in your town? Is she stalking your husband? Have they been secretly talking behind your back or more importantly have they been cheating on you emotionally slash physically since the wedding? This seems odd time to figure stuff out. Came here to say this. 
Op should start looking at his schedule and bank records. See if there's anything that needs further explanation. For me, I'm in the process of divorce. I have found tolls charged to our res pass that didn't match up with where he told me he was. Charges for dinners that should have been on the card he uses for business. A purchase at a jewelry store. And he bought himself new clothes, including new underwear, when he hates shopping, and always ask me to buy him new clothes. NTA. It's very suspicious that she turned up out of the blue. It seems like something is going on here that you don't know about because your husband let you leave his birthday dinner. He let you leave, and he stayed for two hours having dinner with Ava, his family, and friends. It seems like he experimented with what it would be like if he had married Ava instead, or he just brought his mistress to family dinner. Unless you live in a tiny tiny town. Someone told her where you were. I think your husband behaved appalling and publicly undermined you in front of her. her. FYI this happened to me. He was having an affair with that woman. Your NTA. Trust your instinct.